Bless the children in the world. I love you. I adore you. I thank you for coming before me this day. I thank you for loving me with your whole heart and soul. I am your Father in heaven, speaking with you now through this servant, through my Holy Spirit, my presence, speaking with you this day. I want to speak with you one-on-one -on -one this day, my child. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. I move within you, my child. Feel my tangible presence within you now. Relax. Drop your shoulders. Breathe deeply. In. Out. In, out. Let all the pressures of this earth go, my child. I promise to carry all of your heavy burdens for you. Give them to me. Let them go with each breath. Every thought that is holding you captive, give it unto me this day. Release the burdens, my children. Release all fear and anxiety from your life. Give it to me. By my spirit, I will take this fear from you now. There is nothing to fear, my child, for I am watching you daily. I promise to take care of all your needs according to my riches in glory through Christ Jesus your Lord. The days grow darker, my children. You have entered into a time of tribulation. Be prepared, my children, for this time, this season. Come to me in worship, come to me in prayer, allow me to speak to you one-on-one, -on -one, to lead and guide you through these days. My children, there is seven years of tribulation on your earth. Things will not get better. Darkness falls, darkness covers the earth at this time. But you are my light in the darkness. You are my ambassadors for Christ in a world that does not know him, a world that has forsaken his love, who does not feel his presence or know his words or connect with me in spirit and truth. But you know him, my child. You have been born again, baptised in the Holy Ghost, Forgiven of all your sins. You know me, my child. You are my voice amongst the nations. You are my hands and my feet. My words. Speaking forth to the children in the world who do not know me. I need you to rise up during these darkened days. These days of tribulation. I need you to listen attentively to my instructions, my words. I will tell you where to go, who to speak with, whether to stay home or to leave your home and go out into the world. My children, it is critically important at this time. That you change any bad habits that you might have. Any sins you are holding. Deep within your heart. Release them to me. Repent of your sins. Come, to be, come before me pure of heart. Cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. 
If there is anything weighing in your mind, bring it to me now and release it. You will be forgiven through the death and resurrection of my Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. I want you to be washed white as snow this day, my child. Carry the sins of your past no more. I want you to walk in righteousness and truth, in holiness and purity. Read my Holy Bible, my children. I will speak to you through the words within. The words in my Bible are living and active. It contains the words of my Spirit, my Holy Spirit. And through these words I am able to lead and guide you clearly, my child. The world has forgotten my words. The world has forgotten that I exist. But slowly I am bringing all men to my attention. In these darkened days, many will fall to their knees, asking for forgiveness of sins and repenting of their wicked ways. Many will turn their eyes towards my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Many will be born again, baptised in my Holy Spirit. Because of these days of darkness, so many will repent, so many will spend eternal life with me, so many will not die in their sins. My children, I wish to impart upon you the gifts of the Holy Spirit, words of wisdom, words of knowledge, gift of faith, gifts of healing gifts of miracles and discerning of spirits, the gift of tongues and interpretation of tongues, the gift of prophecy. Receive these gifts from me, my children. Do not be afraid. I wish for you to use these gifts in your world during these darkened days. Many will run to and fro, many will hide their face from me, but they cannot hide, for I see all things, I know all things. I am omnipotent, I am omnipresent, I am Yahweh. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I was there in the beginning and I will be with you right until the, your very last day on the earth and I will carry your spirit into paradise. You will not be judged for your sins, my children, if you have confessed your sins whilst you live upon the earth, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. You will pass through the wrath of my judgment. You will not be separated from me at life's end. You will not walk towards the darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. You will rejoice with me in paradise. We will be one. Thank you, my children, for coming towards me this day, for believing, for having faith, for standing firm on the earth for your belief in Christ. He is the way, he is the truth and he is the life, my children. He is the doorway to heaven. He is the sacrificial lamb, your redeemer, your saviour, your eternal friend, your bridegroom, your God in heaven. He is one with me, one with the Holy Spirit, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. We are one, yet three. Relax this day, my child. Feel the weight of the world slipping from you. Know that you are an eternal spirit. You are living in a body on the earth, but you are an eternal spirit. 
and today I wish for you to take care of your eternal soul, my child. The part of you that never dies, the part of you that lives forever with me. Do not overthink things with your mind, my children. So many of you are having arguments with your mind and your spirit. The mind cannot understand the spirit, my children. You cannot reason. You cannot argue with me. I am who I am. Your rational thinking cannot fathom the mighty works of your God. You cannot fathom eternity. You can never fathom who I am. I am above all which you could ever think, my children. But one day you will understand. One day I will reveal to you my mysteries unspoken. Relax and breathe deeply this day. For to live is Christ and to die is gain. There is nothing to fear about your passing from this life to the next. I have all things under my will and control. I will carry you into paradise, my children, and you will feel glory, ecstatic love, joy, peace. Your soul will enter into a deep place of rest. My child, enter my rest this day. Allow every cell in your body to relax. Be still and know that I am God, that I am in control of your future, that I know every plan that I have for your life. And it will come to pass, my child, if you trust in me, if you listen to my voice, if you obey my will and command, if you do all I tell you to do. I want the best life possible for you, my children. You will shine brightly in these darkened days, these darkened hours. I will pour out my glory upon your heart, mind and soul. I will impart my peace upon you. The glory of heaven will fall down. I do not want my children to be running to and fro in fear and panic. Pray unto me this day, my children, and I will protect you from every disease and germ and virus that is sweeping across your planet at this time. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus, his blood shed for many. By his wounds you are healed, my children. Place all sickness upon him. He came to the earth to carry this sickness for you, so that you might be healed, made whole restored and made new, transformed into the image and likeness of him. Follow Christ this day. Allow him to be your good shepherd, to lead and guide you. Place your hand in his and he will walk with you eternally. He is your God and your King. He is your holy priest. Pray unto him only. Halahariyamakashi, his name is the name above all names. His name has power. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. This is happening on the earth right now, my children. Knees are bowing right across your earth. The gospel is going forth to all nations. This prophecy is being fulfilled as we speak. The word of God is reaching every corner of every land. 
Soon will come the time of the end. Soon I will wrap your world up like a scroll, but first you must pass through these days of tribulation. Stand firm together, my Christians. I wish for the global church to unite. Stand firm with my beloved messengers who are preaching to you now this message, who are ministering for, to you for me. Thank you, my children, for coming towards me this day. Give unto me your whole heart and soul, as I have given unto you my whole heart and soul. Do not be afraid. If you are hearing this word, it is for a reason. I am calling you, choosing you, to go forth and declare my love and glory upon the earth. I will show you how to do this, but I will equip you, I will anoint you, I will prepare you, I will fill you with my presence and my peace so that you can do all that I wish for you to do on the earth during this season. You are on the earth for such a time as this, my children. It is by no accident that you are living and breathing on the planet this day. You are my most dedicated, my strong. I will empower you, my children. You are my holy ambassadors for the kingdom of heaven and life everlasting. You have been trained and prepared and equipped, my children, for many years. I have been teaching you my ways, filling you with the knowledge of the glory of heaven. My knowledge, my word, my peace. You know how to walk in peace, my children, and you know what causes you unrest. You know what anxiety is. And you also know what it is to dance in my love and relax, to enter into my presence. I have told you what to do and what not to do on the earth. You must be obedient to me at this time. My children, I have trained you for such a time as this. For a specific reason and purpose, there are so many in the world who are lost and searching, who do not know my name, who have not been born again, baptised in the Holy Spirit. I will bring these people to you, and you must declare my truth to them, my children. You must not be afraid. You must not deny me before man. Now is the time for my children on the earth to rise up, to be at holy ambassadors for Christ Jesus, my son. I am with you this day, my children, now and forever. Amen.